Hi everybody, today I'm with Jeff Colvin of uh, Fortune Magazine. He came here to visit us and talk about his work and his presentations and he agreed to answer some questions uh, that might be useful to you. Jeff, your, your presentation uh, leading ahead of what's next, I don't suppose that you're suggesting that we buy a crystal ball. What, uh, what is one of the recommendations that you have to offer business people to do better with the future. Yeah, the, the idea there is to look at the environment we're in right now, meaning right now this minute, and where it's likely to go. The perspective I bring to this comes from talking with lots of top business leaders and top government leaders, and I do get some insight into where things are going that is not what everybody else understands. So we look at where things are likely to go based on that access, that insight, and then what the best business leaders are doing now to succeed in this particular environment. And I talk about the specific things that they are doing, whether it has to do with how they manage the business, uh, how they innovate their business model, which turns out to be one of the most important things that the best ones are doing, or any number of other things. But that's the idea, you know, where we're really going based on, you know, not just my opinions from reading the papers, but my talking with CEOs, government leaders, and others, and then figuring out how the best leaders are winning. Talking about leaders winning, I uh, have read about, I've not read it yet, but I've read about your book, Talent is Overrated. Right. And it seems to me that you're suggesting that people are focusing on some of the wrong things. Right. What what, it, it, is there an idea or two that you can share where we should be focusing our yeah. attention and activities? Yeah, absolutely. That's all about where the great performers of this world, in any field, uh, really come from. What makes them so great? And what most of us believe, what, what I believed before I started looking at these 30 years of scientific research, what most of us believe, well, that it comes from doing really hard work or having a really high IQ, those turn out not to be the real explanation. And then what we believe most deeply, which is that it comes from an innate gift, an inborn one in a million special something that you either have or you don't. And people tend to focus on that, you know, do I have that? Or does this person have it? Or does my kid have it? Whatever. That's not the answer. The answer, and the research is very clear on this, Great performance comes from specific behaviors, which they call deliberate practice, but it's specific behaviors. Most importantly, always pushing yourself just beyond what you can do today. Not way beyond and not within what you can do, but always pushing yourself just beyond what you can do today. That's what all the great performers, whether they're in music, sports, business, medicine, flying jet fighters, whatever it is, that's what the great ones do. Speaking of great performances, when I Google you, I see about all these events yes. where you are invited to be the host, Yes. And year after year after year. So obviously you've done a great deal of that kind of thing. Yeah. Can you give our listeners some hints, things that they might want to be aware of, what, what help ma helps make a event go particularly well? Yeah, absolutely. But, Part of what a host can bring to an event is tying it all together. You've got speakers, you typically have panels, you may have some famous person being interviewed on stage, which is something I do a lot of. But what you want is for that group, that audience, to feel that this all had a unity to it, that there was an overarching purpose, that there was a theme to this whole thing so that they can go away feeling that, yes, there was a big message and that they got something large and powerful from it. And one of the things that a host can do, and that I certainly do a lot of, is tie the pieces together. Be involved, deeply involved, with everything that's happening. And then when you're on stage, explaining how the pieces of this event all fit together, how they all feed into one common theme. And look, between you and me and event organizers, sometimes that wasn't really there when they organized the event. But you can still find these common themes. 
and it really gives the audience a sense of satisfaction and value that they got from the event, if you can bring that to it. Thank you very much for your insights. Thank you for coming to visit us today and watch for Jeff in Fortune Magazine and on CBS Radio.